Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another Friday review. Today we're going to take a look at Slay the Spire. I found this game randomly as a free PlayStation Plus membership game for April, so if you want to have this game for free, you should definitely still get it. It's still available. And so just to give you a brief overview, it's basically a card playing game in an RPG adventure kind of style. Um, there's a lot to do in this game. It's not exactly like overly overwhelming, but it's, it has a bit of strategy in it. And I think the designs are really cool. Like the monster designs are very unique. I love the, the style they used for this type of game. So definitely some plus points there. Um, it's complex at the same time, also not, but you'll definitely want to have your strategies in. Because in case you go up against a boss, they can certainly test your resolve. Like in this battle that you're seeing right now, that was the first boss I faced, and um, I was doing pretty well until about yeah, the last five minutes, because he goes into a phase where he has thorns damage. So you have to be careful of like the different kinds of abilities that enemies have, and you have to really plan out your strategy to win the battles. And I lost this one, because at the very end he did 16 points of damage, and I had 19 health, so when I hit him I lost health, and yeah, so my first boss battle did not go very well, but it's a very, very fun game. Um, it, it really, really tests your resolve, but I think once you kind of take a look at the cards that you have, and how they work, how the game works, and have a few good cards in your deck, then you can definitely really, really conquer this game. But I, I did an oopsie, and this was the end of me, so... But on the flip side of things, if you actually plan out and think just a little ahead, you're, and you're stuck in a pickle, a good strategy will really bash your opponents. Like in this fight right here that I'm showing you, I was down to 27 health and the boss still had over 150, or 155 health and in one turn I completely decimated him. I'll just, I'll just let you watch. And that's how easy it can be to win. So aside from monster battles, you also have merchants that you can spend the gold on to get new cards, new artifacts, or some potions that can really help you out in a pickle. Uh, you also have some campsites where you can either sleep to recover 30% of your health, or you can upgrade your already in possession cards, they like they do extra damage or they do extra um, debuffs on the computers, so you have to kind of look at that. You also have these question marks on the map, and those are random events. You can sometimes end up in an unexpected battle, which can be quite difficult. Or you can have, like what I had, um, you get a random reward, like um, I got potions, and I think there was one I had where you even got an artifact. So those uh, question marks are definitely a hit or miss. They can either completely ruin your run, or they can give you exactly the edge that you needed. This game also features different uh, campaign modes, like you have the standard mode and you have the daily climb. Standard mode is just, like as the name would suggest, a standard campaign, where you have to battle enemies, bosses, mini-bosses, get your cards, or you have the daily climb, which will give you a predetermined character and, um, and cards and you just have to do your best and compete with other players to see how well you do and win a small reward. But the nice thing about the daily climb is that you get to explore other characters, you get to explore new creature designs, so those look really really cool, like you have unique creatures there as well. Um, you can also just take a look at other cards that you might have not unlocked yet and kind of get an idea of what kind of a deck you might be going for if you're playing the standard mode and just maybe find a new character, a new favorite character that you like that you didn't think about before. So the daily climb is definitely worth checking out. And on top of all the fun that we're already having with the basic game, you also have a ton 
of collectibles. You have red cards, green cards, blue cards, um, I think there's purple cards in there, neutral cards, it's just a whole slew of different cards. There's curses as well. Uh, you also have relics. You can have a whole collection of relics. Like this is insane how many things you can collect as well as a whole potion section. It's it's just it's a really really fun game. Lots to do and it's just overall really really fun. So those are my thoughts on the game. I think it's really really cool. I really like the aesthetics. I like the gameplay. It's both challenging and fun. Definitely a 9 out of 10 dragons from me. I would absolutely recommend getting this game. I would even pay to have this game. It's just a really really well done time waster basically. It's, it's not competitive and it's it's just good old fun like in the good old days. And with that I shall see you all on the flip side of things.